President Biden, inflation has slowed, but prices remain high. Since you took office, the price of essentials has increased. Making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. Thank you, President uh, Biden. President Trump? Well, he's right. He did beat Medicare. He beat it to death, and he's destroying Medicare. There are 40 percent fewer people coming across the border illegally. That's better than when he left office. And I'm going to continue to move until we get the total ban on the, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more Border Patrol and more uh, asylum officers. I mean, the, fact that, the fact of the matter is this man cannot continue as maybe make it to the end of this term as the president of the United States. I have deep concerns for our own country, even for the next six months with this man in charge. When you think about the greatest threats that we have faced in our lifetime to the homeland of the United States of America, and that this is the man who's the commander in chief supposedly making those decisions, that should be frightening to every American. And I do think that we are due for a Democratic Party that has a reckoning ahead of it to say that if this man is the best they could put up, that says everything you need to know about the modern Democratic Party. The border security bill did nothing with parole. The border is broken because Biden overturned every Trump policy. I think, from my point of view, if this, if this election's not over, I don't know what would make it over. I don't know how any reasonable per person could believe that Joe Biden could serve another four years as our commander in chief. Uh, and I hate to say that. I mean, I'd like to have a debate on policy, but now I'm worried. I'm worried that we have a, a situation in the world where the president of the United States seems to be compromised. We've made significant progress <clears throat> from the debacle that was left by President Trump in, in, his, in his last term. We find ourselves in a situation where, number one, we have to make sure that we have a fair tax system. I ask anyone out there in the audience or anyone out watching this debate, do you think the tax system is fair? The fact is that I said nobody even making under $400,000 had a single penny increase in their taxes and will not. And if I'm reelected, that will be the case again. We're going to continue to fight to bring down inflation and give people a break. Like so many politicians, this man is just a complainer. He said, we want to do this, we want to do that, we want to get rid of this tax, that tax. But he doesn't do anything. He doesn't do all he does is make our country unsafe by allowing millions and millions of people to pour in. So all of these things, we're in a failing nation, but it's not going to be failing anymore. We're going to make it great again.